need to get this bit right. show people how much peace there is in our world. I want to show what's going on in our world. I mean, you're going to see this in the people that we interview. You're going to see it in the children's faces. You're going to hear it in the words, in the lyrics. Hi, I'm Lauren. I call myself Lauren Hope O'Medal. I added the hope in this year because it's about letting go of the past and moving on. And I'm the originator of this project uh, If I Believe Peace, Song for Peace, the largest ever recording of a song for peace ever to be done with children and I'm very proud to be making this film and introducing the story. Um, just um, a little bit about myself, um, I'm Irish, I was born in Ireland, I'm Jewish and uh, when I was a child I was taken to Israel, a very young child and I learned what it is to live in wars and terrorism and a lot of pain and I decided that I didn't want children to have to grow up like that anymore and that's where this project comes from, from the heart. Um, I do it because I want to teach people that we're all the same in here. Um, basically this project has been going for quite a while now, uh, coming up to what's well, probably about 11 years. And I'd written a song called Weave Me a Dream and actually the song was nothing to do at the point I wrote it. It was nothing to do with Interfaith of Peace. I, I, I wasn't that way inclined at all. A couple of things happened that changed me and I started working with kids and a couple of things happened in our world and I'd say the pinnacle of this for me was September the 11th. And my whole mindset changed. I don't know why, but I think it's probably happened to quite a lot of people. And you could say I became sort of spiritual then. And I knew that this was what I was meant to do. I was meant to take this song, Weave Me a Dream, which is all about a tapestry of life, weaving us all into a tapestry, all the cultures, all the religions, all the colours. And I was meant to go out there and teach it. Because before that I didn't really know what I was meant to do with my music, I struggled quite a lot. But from then onwards I had this song, Weave Me A Dream, and um, I took it to my friend and he created a backing track with it. So I'd say that was kind of like the first incarnation of Weave Me A Dream in the year 2001. And at that point I also got invited to teach it to a lot of children, it was a Hillingdon summer project. And I just went around and taught it to the kids, um, and that was the, the beginning of it, I'd say. I must admit, I used to approach the schools and I couldn't get the support um, quite a lot of the time. As soon as I mentioned the word peace, the, the, the phone would go cold and no, I don't want to get involved with that. And nowadays it's very different. Nowadays people jump on it because we need it. It's got to be, you know. Then I met Sam, and Sam was a studio technician and a musician. Um, and he said to me, why don't we make it a children's song? And it somehow it, it started to make sense because up until then it was classical new agey and it was all about me singing it all the time and people doing harmonies. And then I thought, you know what, he's right. Because it is, it's about the children, it's about them, it's about their future. And it, it's fun. And so Sam came up with the hook if I believe, if I believe, I thought brilliant. And then I added on Imna Amin, 
and Ozen Amen, which is Hebrew, Arabic, and English. And I got managed to get um, Robert Allen, who had been the X Factor. I just went up to him and said, "Do you want to be involved in this?" And we tried to get it in the Eurovision, but we we didn't get it in the Eurovision, obviously. But uh, we had the song recorded, and then um, we took our witchy piece, the Christmas version, and went out and got loads of kids and taught the song to them. I sang it with um, a Muslim singer called Yusuf Siddiqui, and it was wonderful. I felt it was so perfect. There was me, a Jew, singing with a Muslim. It meant so much. It was lovely. <laughs> You enjoyed yourself, yeah. And Thea, did you enjoy yourself? Yeah. Great, lovely. And what about Serena and um, <coughs> Melissa? Yeah. And Alison, <laughs> who was in it as well. She, yeah. You look so young, and you're their mum. And we all thought that you were one of the kids. <laughs> but it's really, really exciting to have you all back here. Yeah. Um, I was just going to say that this is 2012 now, and uh, I've got most of the kids back. And in order to um, Make, we're making a film, we're making a documentary, which is all the work that's been done on this project since 2000. And this is one of the most important parts of it. Um, we're on YouTube and we've had 20,000 views and we're all so excited about it because we hope that we'll be able to eventually get in the charts. So that's why you're all here. We thought that participating in this song was a small contribution that we could all participate in to bring something bigger and something important and I think the children at the time you know since since that time they've realized now the significance of it more than when they were five years younger yeah because they're a bit older yes it's lovely we've got we've got little Lula little oh little Lula <laughs> little Lula here and she was a baby if you, if you see the video, which is in the background, Lula was a little baby and she's now five years old and she's, it's really lovely to have you back. And we've got young Faith here, who's a new addition to, um, to, the, to the video and I'm really happy to have her today. Are you excited? Yeah. Lovely. Do you remember when we made the video? Yeah. How did you feel when you made the video? Do you remember? Uh, not that much. Did you go and tell all your friends afterwards that you yeah. were in a video? Um, well, I found it exciting going to Hewenden. Hewenden, I really enjoyed like sitting down together. And um, now I understand more about the message. What is the message, Serena? Peace. What does that mean to you? Um, peace means to me, um, uh, it's hard to put in words really, but um, love in a way, I guess. Yeah. That's lovely. Does anybody else want to say something about what peace means to them? What, why do you think we're doing this? Why do you think we're making this film? Like everyone's equal and just everyone is a whole group together. That's wonderful. That sounds lovely. Well done. So are you excited to be here today? Yeah. Back together again. Three. Peace. Shalom. Salam. Shanti. And clap. Woo! If I believe that we can stop the tears for falling. Hello. My name is Afri. I'm 11 years old and I live in Israel. If I believe, it's a very good song. It's talking about peace and love. Peace and love in all the world. I think that peace is a good thing. It 
the important most thing in the world. I think that we can if all the child and the people in all the world can get by, uh, end by end and said, I want peace. I don't want war or fighting. I want peace. I love peace. I wish peace. Okay, so what would you like to say to your Palestinian children, neighbor, the neighbors, Alan, from the heart? Alan and be my friend. Track. And I remember I came to you and I sat by the keyboard, you remember? We're talking about what, 2000? Yeah, it's a while ago now. Yeah. And I just sang, burn me a light, touch me a song. Lauren came to me with uh, the song, as she does. Uh, she had the melody and chords, and uh, yeah, I really liked it. Actually. Oh, yeah, it's amazing how um, it's it's grown with, with Lauren's um, uh, the energy she's put into creating it as um, a sort of a, a bigger project and involving all the children um, that she is and. <clears throat> generating all the interest through through all the media and and, and stuff she's doing it's um, yes uh, I really admire for that for the for the energy she's put into it and yeah it's very commendable and yeah it's gone so much beyond you know where I started with it so uh, yeah I'm interested to see um, see where it goes and I think that's that's a way to to generate peace, yeah, and music is the ideal um, platform for, for doing that. Music is something that really brings people together from all different faiths and backgrounds. Yeah, so we basically, we used um, the arrangement um, of Weave Me a Dream, as it was called originally, Weave Me a Dream, of uh, Hope and Love Again. We, we used that um, to do the big sing-along and we, we got, this was in 2001 I think, we got a load of people together in a house and Matt, Matt Condon brought, came mm. along with the studio and we recorded it. Okay. So and um, yeah, and we, we came up with this CD and uh, I think everyone bought a copy. Mm. And that was the first ever um, arrangement of the first reincarnation of this song, which was Weave Me a Dream, this project at the beginning. Before the project, I think the project was just starting around then. Mm. That's another story. It makes you happy to know that you're valued no matter who you are. And if I can change a child's life, if I can change 10 children's lives with this project and, and, and help them find some happiness knowing that they're okay no matter what religion they are and you know and understand that they don't have to go out there and fight for the religion it's natural to be who you want to be in our world it's a free world basically I believe we're a free world um, and everyone respects everyone and there's no wars anymore you don't need wars then do you anyway that's my belief <coughs> and um, I suppose that's why I do this project I suppose because I had a very, I had a sad childhood and I grew up in a lot of wars and terrorist attacks, I couldn't sleep at night. It's not a nice way to grow up and I feel for every child that is unhappy and can't sleep at night because they're frightened. You know, my dad slept with a gun under his pillow and I, I don't, I think that's awful, you know, I, why should anyone have to live with such fear? I mean, the consequences are you you're not as happy as other people and I went through a lot of unhappiness myself and depression um, this project makes me happy it makes me happy because I see the smiles on the children's faces when and the teachers and everyone when I tell them what we're doing you see their, their happy faces you know it's, it's the little child in me is celebrating being one with everyone people think it's very innocent and childish but I don't care. I think that Jesus was an innocent, very innocent and very childish too. And Buddha. <coughs> they had to play in order to get the results. They had, they, he said, become as an innocent child, Jesus, didn't he? I know, I'm a Jew, but I follow the teachings of Jesus. To me, he said, become as an innocent child. And um, to me, God is playful and fun and full of love. <laughs> 
<laughs> Open face. <laughs> this is a picture of the future. This is happiness and joy. <laughs> and maybe when you're old enough, you'll be able to take on the project, eh? Would you like that? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> There's a couple of young ladies in Israel that might take on the project. One of them is Ofri. She's my niece. She's 16 and very supportive of this. And Sheked and Doron, my nieces. And who knows? We love you very much. It's just remarkable for me as a Jewess, it's been brought up as a Jewess in a, in a country with unfortunately wars and sadness to go into a situation where a lot of the children are Muslims and unfortunately considered my enemy. They're not my enemy. No one is my enemy. That's how I see it. And when the children and I sing together and we, they hug at me or we have our photograph taken, it, make, it means a lot to me, you know, that these children are, are actually considered in the big wide world my enemy because they're Muslim and I'm a Jew. But you see, this, this project is a bridge. It's a metaphor, it's a symbolism of all the religions singing together. If we don't sing together, metaphorically, symbolically, you have a war, you have a cacophony. You understand what I mean? If the song, if everybody is not singing together on the same vibration, then we're, unfortunately we have sadness and children die for nothing. You know, that's how I see it. So. And adults are very unhappy. I don't believe that anyone wants their children to die in wars. I don't believe anyone. I think every parent, deep down inside, wants the best for their child. Sometimes I think that. Unfortunately, um, children and adults um, grow up with hatred and that's unfortunate because of the way our world is. Um, we're going to be filming the children in their assembly. I'm going to be teaching them a tiny little bit of the song from If I Believe Peace. And uh, we're going to be interviewing the headmaster. And this is our first school that we're going to be filming and I'm going to be talking to the children about the project. If I believe, if I believe in that I mean, what's in the name? Again? Okay, well, did you enjoy that? Yes! Lovely. Okay then, so big smiles now. Big smiles. And I just want to say thank you very much. And before I go, I'm just going to say one more thing to repeat after me, okay? Peace. Peace. Shalom. Shalom. Salam. Salam. Shanti. Shanti. And do you want to do it funny like Lauren does? Okay? So do it like this. One, two, three. Peace. Shalom. Big smile. Salam. Could you just say something about what it is about your school and, and why you feel that you wanted to come onto the project? Well, I think because we're um, a family school, we believe that everybody um, has the right to um, be heard and everybody is valued exactly the same and I think your project is trying to do that f throughout the world so we are very happy to join in with you. Thank you very yes. very much. That's quite all right and we just hope that uh, <laughs> it's a success. So do mm. we all yeah mm. and like I say I really want to thank you for your support you know yes. yourself and the schools in Hayes that have come on board and given us so much support. Yeah. So thank you very Looking much. Looking forward to that thank you. And we're making a film now this film is about children all over the world and I'm here to bring you onto the film so that we can show that in England we bless all the children of the world and we want to teach that no child should have to grow up in sadness and in wars. Does that make sense? Yes. Good, good. So the main thing of the song is if I believe that we could stop the tears from falling, yeah? Can you say that after me? 
so that we can send this film out into the world and help children not have to live in wars and sadness anymore. So does that sound nice? Yes. Good, because here in England we're all safe. We all live together here safe. We're all different cultures and religions. I'm a Jewish lady. I was born Jewish. And I grew up in Israel, in the Middle East, or Palestine, Israel. And my job is to teach us all that um, basically we're all the same. So I'm going to teach you a little bit of the song, I Wish You Peace. Well, I adore my family in Israel and I'm proud of being a Jew. I also have all the empathy in the world for the Palestinians. And I feel that, unfortunately, what's happened is not okay. And the balance needs to come back. But I believe that our world is changing in such a way now. And it's coming. There are loads of things happening in our world. There's loads of peace projects all over the world. I will do my best to enlighten the public with as much as I can get into this film. And um, hopefully by the time this film comes out, I'll be, you know, we will have the footage to show more of um, peace, only peace. Okay, well, peace. Well, peace is a, a cry from the heart for me. It's, it's, it's something that, as Lauren said, is very, it's something that every single one of us is looking for. And I know Lauren's been on a journey of healing to help her discover her inner peace and her inner love. And it's been a privilege, privilege and an honour to share that journey with her. And to see her bloom and grow and get get all this energy and enthusiasm and passion that she has inside her out through her music. So um, the idea that it's all based on peace and love are the two best subjects we can focus on, really. So I'm delighted to um, support Lauren. Silent Unity is there for everybody. Um, so it's just a pleasure to be here. Love, make me. An instrument of your peace. That was the ins a little bit of the uh, instrument of peace yes. that I sang yes. for you in London at the Unity Gathering one year. Yeah. And um, basically, um, I took the word God and changed it to love. Absolutely. Because I believe that to me, God is love. And that's what I practice, and I know you do. Absolutely. And uh, you've been um, a great mentor yourself in Unity. The teachings of Myrtle Fillmore about us all coming together, and the prayer line, which has kept me sane. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure it keeps, it's just so wonderful that people can just ring up and say help, yeah. and you just pray with them. Absolutely. And um, it's, it's very, very beautiful. So we want all the different religions. When I hopefully, in please God, talk to the mosque, yeah. I want them to explain to me a little bit so that we've got lots of different cultures and people talking about what their beliefs okay. are. So it's very open. Mm. Yeah. We have a interfaith organization. Uh, we have a uh, Vince Major Community Forum where all the, the different faiths um, you know, from Baha'i to Jewish to Sikhs. I mean, every single faith is included in that. Uh, we get together, we socialize, you know, we have different events. We have football events and other community wow. events. And uh, so it gives us a chance, you know, an opportunity to get together and uh, sort of um, socialize with each other and discuss our similarities. The majority of the Muslims are very peaceful people. Uh, and um, I think majority of any religion is very peaceful, but then you always have, will have people, you know, uh, who are negative in every sort of religion and every walk of life. Amen. 
And that's our world. So you have all the different colours of the rainbow. And you have all the different religions. So the song has got a line in it about the colours of the rainbow, which is red, orange, yellow, green and blue, indigo and violet too. <laughs> uh, does anybody like colours at all? Red. Red. Anybody else? Yes. Yeah. Blue. Blue. Pink. Pink. White. White. You have the back? Black. 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 Now, are you too macho to sing red, orange, yellow, green, and blue, indigo, and violet, too? Ah, are you too macho for that? Red, orange, yellow, green, and blue, indigo, and violet, too. Ah. Oh, fantastic. We've got the older boys over there. They're really embarrassed now. <laughs> I can't express how I feel. I am so happy. It's been incredible. The kids were gorgeous. Um, Segir was very lovely and friendly. I sat in the mosque and I thanked God for giving me this job, this journey. And um, to me, this has been a huge part of the film, is to visit the mosque and talk to my Muslim friend about our similarities. I learned so much today. And I hope to pass this on to the world and all the kids uh, using the song. It was so much fun today with the boys, teaching them the colours of the rainbow. <laughs> all these macho boys. And there's me going red, orange, yellow, green and blue, indigo. <laughs> I saw their faces. Walking, but I'm just talking about Allah Akbar, the prayer for peace. I just love the sound of when they sing it, but I never knew what it actually meant. I never knew that, they, that the prayer was not just for the Muslims, but it was for all the children of Abraham as well, which is the Jews. <laughs> so the Muslims are actually praying for all of us. You see, I never knew any of this, and I'm really grateful. Hi, I'm with Veena. And uh, Veena's from the Brahma Kumaris in Uxbridge and she runs the group every week where we come and do meditation and the primary thing is is learning how to be peaceful, inner peace. So how do you feel we can get back to that stillness that we need inside in order yeah. to get that peace? Yes, yes. Um, as I said before, we need to be in touch with our inner self. Mm. Every human being on this planet is craving for peace, looking for peace. And where is peace? It's the, in your heart. it's within me. In you. In it's you. within me. Hi, um, well today is the 18th of November. We're at um, the Jewish synagogue in Maidenhead. Um, they're doing a project called Mitzvah. The mitzvah means to do a good deed. And it's bringing Muslim teenagers and um, Jewish teenagers together. I am so excited about this. And um, also, I feel that today um, is really important to do this because, unfortunately, on the news at the moment, the Middle East is not doing too well again. And I get scared because my family are there, who I love. And I just want to be able to do my bit today to um, be able to show the world what works so that maybe we don't have to have situations like the Middle East anymore. Well, Mitzvah Day is a day we give our time to other people, more importantly than giving our money, which we do also at other time. But Mitzvah Day, what's important is not to give your money, but is to do something yourself for other people. Future leaders. What's your name? Ben. Hi Jonathan, Hi. and thank you so much for inviting us today. It's beautiful, you know, to be in a place like this where everything works so beautifully together. I just want to ask you a little bit about your work because it is exceptional what you do to go out into the other communities, particularly to go to the mosque. I mean, there's not enough of that in this country. There's not enough in this world. So, I mean, when, how did all this start? I mean, where did this Well, start? hopefully it's not quite as exceptional as that because there are a lot of rabbis, um, and I'm sure there are vicars as well, um, who realize that, you know, um, if, if there's no point loving your neighbor uh, 
if it's just your Jewish neighbour or just your Catholic neighbour or just your Muslim neighbour, your, your neighbour is uh, you know, anybody uh, occupying this world and we're all the children of God. And I know that's a sort of set phrase, children of God, but you have to take it seriously. And if we are the children of God, it means we're, we're all equal. Um, and the, the, uh, if, 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 you, if you don't get on with your neighbour, then actually that's a negation of God, and it's a denial of God. And it doesn't matter how many prayers you say, how many candles you light. But if you ignore someone from a different faith, then it's, it's as if you're ignoring God. Uh, I understand you're from the Muslim faith. Yeah. Right. It's, and you're here at Mitzvah Day. Would mm. you like to tell us a little bit about that? What? Yeah, I mean, I, I work for an organisation called the Islamic Society of Britain. Um, and we are a national organisation. And I um, got to know some people that are involved in Mitzvah Day sort of nationally um, and have done a, other bits of work with them and just really love the idea actually. Um, I love the idea of it being a Jewish-led day of social action anyway. So, I mean, I think they, the, the, the idea of it is really good anyway, so it's about doing good together. So yeah. It's not about talking about religion or poli certainly not politics. It's about saying actually we can do some good together w from whatever background we're from. I think, I think it's, it's very good to, to unite all the different kind of cultures and religions. It, I mean, pe like people from all different kind of cultures and religions should know about each other and other things because if we keep if everyone segregated then it's it's kind of we don't know what's out there and we need to know what's out there yeah we should we should all learn to live together because that's I mean that's what that's what we're supposed to do you know if we like I said before if we, if we keep away from each other then how do we know how to how to keep together oh, I think it's really nice when we do this sort of interfaith things we're all doing good deeds and that's part of all the religions they all want to do something good for charities and things like that and I think it's quite nice if it wasn't just the mosques and the synagogues if other faiths came in if the you know, we had like Buddhists and Sikhs and Christians and everyone doing it together I think it'd be really nice rather than it being based at a certain uh, absolutely place of worship. Yeah, I'm thinking just more meetings and just yeah, all gathering as that sense of community because that's, that's what we should all do because it just makes it a lot better for everyone and you get to learn about different cultures and it's just, it shows that we're different but in the end we're all the same. The girls are going to sing a little bit of the song that they do at the synagogue, which is in Arabic, I think, as well as Hebrew. Can I just translate that? What they're singing is Salam means peace, Shalom to us and the whole of the world. Aleinu is us, al kol olam and then the whole world. So isn't that lovely? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't look at Daddy's face. What do you like about peace? Is peace good? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Why is it good? Because everybody hates it. Yeah, everybody hates it if it's not peace, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Uh, my point of view is I believe in tolerance you know uh, I think people from all age groups and from different backgrounds they've all got something unique to say mm -hmm. and you learn by listening to them particularly you know uh, older people as well mm -hmm. uh, young people have got something to learn from uh, what I, I call the uh, the elders uh, <laughs> and what I like about my um, son's school is there's children from all sorts of backgrounds They've got like Polish and um, children who are Muslim, Jewish, um, there's lots of different races mixed together and there's those that are not mixed race as well. And all the children just get on so well, they play together and I really like that. And your project is, that's what it's all about, isn't it? About people, whether they have faith or don't have faith, all together basically they want to get on and have peace mm -hmm. and that's what your song's about and the words the, that's what the words are saying mm -hmm. you know and they really touch you when they when you when you hear it you know so that's that's what Thank i love you. about it so yeah <laughs> well when you explained about it it makes sense because you're basically saying that all faiths come together for peace and i think that's really really important not to get caught up in what one particular faith is into in detail, but the overall thing is to have peace and for everybody to get on with each other. And that's basically what all religions mm -hmm. and people who are not religious is mm -hmm. all about. And the the way you do the song and you'll get, you know, people 
from Israel, you were talking about that as well, and how you want to get everybody together. I thought it was a really good project, and it's great for my children to be part of that as well. Okay, right, can you send in the Sopranos, please? Peace is such a big word. Um, it's got a lot of factors around it that we really thought about a lot. With so much going on in the world today, I think it's so important, especially for the younger generation, to know more about peace. There's the violence, crime, throughout the world there's so much going on, nation against nation, everything. So we just want to be part of helping to bring that word mm -hmm. to, to its proper meaning. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think it's good for the children to be involved from an early age so that they could grow up and be able to be a mother to the outer world so they could um, just really be part of something that's good. Okay, now this has got a solo line but you don't need to worry about it but I need to explain to you where the harmony comes in, okay? So the song goes like this. I'm really excited about this because 2007 you were actually in the original recording that we did with Charlotte and Steve, remember we came here and did a recording yeah. and so it's really nice to meet you again five years later but we've got a lot of work to do, yeah? I mean those recordings were fun but we're talking about quality now, okay? And I'd love to be able to, for us to get the four harmonies, it would be a big challenge. Okay. And I mean, what are you guys' feelings about peace? I mean, do you th learn about that at school at all? How do, how do you feel about things like that? Um, it's definitely a topic in like RE and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. it's a massive like world topic that I think is debatable in today's society. And I think that we should, this song could help achieve that and help others start believing in peace and stuff. It's lovely, thank you. Yeah, I'm quite excited about it. Good. Yeah, um, I'm looking forward to it as well. I remember, um, well, I was with Charlotte, um, I think it was in Breakspear, the old stagecoach, yeah. and yeah. I remember in one of the rooms going over the red, orange, yellow, green. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the colours of the rainbow. Yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. that. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you were the first school that I think that came on board five years ago. Really, I mean, this is really flying now. It's taken quite a long time to get to the level it is. But there's more than a thousand children, I think, involved in the video now. Mm -hmm. So, but um, anyway, I think I better let you go, or your your teachers are going to be very angry. <laughs> so, you've been involved in this project for 12 years. It's quite some time. I love Lauren's passion. She's just been so passionate all the way through keen to get things done, keen to move things on and you know just occasionally there are times when it's um, difficult and uh, you know I'm always there to help her and I just feel that right from the very beginning I've been sort of just a mate really. How would you like to see the project? Obviously you'd like to see world peace but how would you see the... the ha, ha, what, what's... I, I think we'd all like to see world peace but that's sort of obvious isn't it? <laughs> but <clears> in, <throat> in the next five years or so how would you... what, what uh, progression would you like to see in this project personally. Right, well I, I just think worldwide a lot of people are becoming more spiritual and a lot more sort of, um, you know, le not less materialistic, but they, they think more about um, things other than the day-to-day -day drudgery and I just think that that'll start to take over. We'll get more and more people involved in um, bettering their lifestyles, trying to do different things, just, just becoming more sort of um, Enlightened, I suppose, is the best word without it sounding too sort of okay. Yeah, you know. Um, and I just think that with Lauren's project, obviously, that is right at the heart of it. Okay, let's do it
done for promoting peace, really, because we really need it, in, especially in these difficult times. sit next to a Christian and play football with a Muslim in the break and do homework with a Hindu and walk home with an atheist. And that way they know more about <laughs> the wider society and the other kids can know more about them. But next the day, what's important is not to give your money, but it's to do something yourself for other people. Yeah. <laughs> Among others, yeah. Among others, yeah. yeah.